Hello, hello, and what's up, everybody? Krillik here, back in action with some more FTB Horizons. You're probably like, what? Where'd it go again? Well, we've been changing packs around and stuff like that, so, you know, fun times. Doing lots of things. It's, it's good fun. Uh, but we are ready. We have our ability to fly. We have our more hearts. And it's time to get this in action. So I figured I would inject myself right now with you guys with my funky goggles on and then we can fly and I really want to try to find some ocelots. Ocelots are really good but for that we need to find a jungle. So let's get to it. Oh no. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh no. Not the nausea. Oh, I feel pregnant. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, look at that. We're okay. Oops, went too far. Alrighty, so... I can fly. Fantastic, just like in Monster. That's beautiful. Uh, now, I can also eat grass. And I just gained five hearts. So how sweet is that? I love it. Uh, I'm not live streaming while doing this one. Pyro is at the moment, so... You know... Good times, but I will be probably later again. I'm going to be trying to live stream a lot more for you guys, uh, all the various packs. Uh, if you can't make the live stream, because most of my live streams will be late at night. Uh, we're talking 8 p.m. mountain time, stuff like that. Because they are so late at night, I understand not everybody can make it. So, as per normal, everything will be going up on YouTube. Just like a regular scheduled broadcast and all that fun stuff. But if you can make it out, please do. I don't make any money off Twitch. I do it just for fun. Just to talk with you guys. Just to hang out, say hello, all that kind of stuff. It's good times. Alright, we're looking for a kitty. Looking for a kitty. I don't think the kitty's going to be in snow. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, I think I'll travel around. What is up with that derpy water? Really? That is derpy. Um, I'll probably cruise around a little bit. You know, it might be a little slow going. I'm not super fast or anything like that. Um, and see if I can't find... There's a heart. Who's base? This, this has to be like Sirish or Riley. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Anyways, I'll be back when hopefully I find a jungle. So, see you then. Alrighty, so on my journeys we've come across uh, this. These are not easy. I took, I did some chickens. I think, uh, see a flame. Uh, I harvested up some chickens. These are Farlanders. Um, they don't look very happy. Especially that guy. Ender Golem. Zombie. Zombie. But there's a little hut here. I'd like to get in there. Uh, but they don't look very happy at the moment. And it's nighttime. So, on my way back, I'll take that out. Um, but I did get some chicken. I think chicken is slow fall with advanced genetics. So that would be very nice. Oh, that's a nice aura node. Ooh. I wonder what it is. Okay, well, I'll be back. This jungle is not going to be easy to find. Just air, but it's nice and bright. I like that. Uh, this jungle is going to be basically impossible to find, so away I go flying. Alrighty, so we found another thing that we really want. And no, it's not the cave spiders. It's the horse. Get rid of you. Let's see what's in the chest. Greater lengthening catalyst. Average power catalyst. What do those do? They sound important. Let's get them. But a horse. Yes. Horses 
with advanced genetics will help you jump higher. So let's get some horse skins. I don't want to hurt a baby horse. I don't want to hurt horses at all, but... Sorry, friend. I'll only take what I require. Um, but yeah, so I'm still going. I've probably traveled about 5,000 blocks, give or take. And, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, we got a couple more chests here. Let's see what we have. We have a wisp spawner. Uh, well, I might as well take the electrical steel. What do we got here? Iron, electrical steel, some more ender lilies. Ow. What's that? You want to play with wands? Is that what you're saying? So there. And another divination signal. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep on trucking. Oh, my lords. I finally found a jungle. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I expected much worse. Now, we have to find a cat. Or an ocelot. Oh, did it finally stop raining? That's so kind of it. It's only been raining for like four days. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. We're looking for a cat. There has to be a cat around. Oh? Oh, pig. Pig, chickens. Where there's chickens, there might be a cat. Nope, there's just zombies where there's chickens. Okay. So, we're going to find an ocelot in here. I know it. It's actually a pretty large jungle from the looks of it. So, hopefully we can find one pretty quick and just skin it a little bit. You know, just just a little bit. I don't want to kill the cat. Chickens, chickens, more chickens, chickens. Where's the ocelots? Come on. I know you're in there. Jungle spiders. Ugh. Those are evil. Okay. Now we're kind of at a swamp. I just want one ocelot. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah, I hear ya. But I'm flying, sucker. Alright. No go. I just want to move faster. That's all I want. Still not seeing any. Pretty nice landscape, though. Like, that's a pretty nice jungle. Still in a jungle, so we can still get the ocelot spawning. Uh, it's just a matter of when and where. Some more chickens just spawned in. Hmm. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna comb the jungle here, back and forth, hoping for a little, little ocelot spawn, and I'll see you then. And the hunter stalks its prey through the jungle and attacks. Ha ha! Give me your skin. Yes. Excellent. Alrighty, so now that I have this, we are going to, let's see, ocelot skins, horse skins, chicken skins, get rid of the paper, get rid of the dirt, just so we have more room. There we go. I got most of them. I only did a little bit of extra collateral damage to it. Nothing too serious. So, time to go home. Voila. We are home. And we are back to our advanced genetics. So I am going to work up some genes here. And I'll be back in a little bit as we carry on with our genetics. And we might jump into something else because I still might have time left in the video. So, see you soon.
Alrighty folks, we're back here breeding, and I'm just breeding up some speed. That's right, got our last gene, let's throw it together. I've already gotten a cent centrifuge syringe with my new blood, and now that we have speed, it is time to combine it. Add speed to the thing. I also have jump and avoid creepers. But I'm going to need to go farm a whole bunch more stuff if I'm going to do that. So then you throw it back in the centrifuge like I showed. And let's see how fast we get. And inject. A little bit of nausea. No big deal. Don't worry. It's good for you. Let's do up some chicken. More hearts, eh? Not exactly what I wanted. Okay, speed two. Oh yeah, that feels better. Look at me fly. I'm faster, stronger. If I'm hungry, I can eat grass. Mm -hmm. It's a great day. It's a great day. Anyways, folks, I'm going to gather up some other stuff here uh, to get a few other things going. Uh, to finish out this video, but for now, I'm going to finish uh, breeding the rest of this stuff up. Getting more basics, and uh, maybe we'll get the avoiding of creepers or something going. We'll see. Uh, so, I'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back, and we are jumping in to our next order of business. And for those of you who don't know what I'm doing... Sucks to be you. No, just kidding. Uh, we are doing another magic mod. Hint, hint. Uh, I think we're going to get started on Ars Magica 2. So we're going to do just the initial startup here. Uh, the basics of the basics. While some of my stuff is working. And then we're going to dive into it a little bit more from there. Perfect, I found a spot. Okay, so basically, to get started with Ars Magica 2, um, you need to find a pool of, like this, or of water like this. And basically, what you do is you need an item frame, slap it on there, and you place the book in the item frame. And you can see all this cool stuff going on, and it, the book changes, okay? You pull it out, and I have unlocked the secrets of the arcane. This gives you the arcane compendium. This is basically the book of all books, Ars Magica. You poor sheep. What are you doing up there, buddy? What, you don't want to come down? Hmm? Well, too bad. Excellent. Um, so, the Arcane Compendium is basically the start of your journey into Ars Magica. Uh, and, basically, this water is also very good. This stuff is called, I can't remember, <laughs> Liquid Essence. That's what it's called. Um, so, basically, once you have that, you can start looking through your Arcane Compendium. And do a little reading if you so choose. Uh, you know, I, I've only done Ars Magica a couple times. So, to make our first spell, we'll need to create an Oculus. Okay. And an inscription table and a crafting altar. Alrighty. Keystones. I believe these are ways of teleporting around a little bit. Uh, we need one of these oculus. Okay. That's not too bad. Some stone bricks, glass, coal, and blue topaz. We should be able to do that. We should be able to do that just fine. So. Pretty good stuff. I'm kind of excited. This has kind of turned into a little bit more of a magic-y. Whereas my monster's a little bit more of a tech. 
um, type thing here, but, eh, what can you do? Okay, do I have a blue topaz here, or is it over there? It's probably over by my wizard tower, that would make sense. It looks like it. Okay, so let's fly over to our wizard tower. We'll get the blue topaz, and maybe we'll just set it up temporarily over here. I might need to make like an Ars Magica wing to the tower. Yeah, I still need to fix that roof. I haven't done it yet. It's not good the way it is, though. It's terrible, to be honest. Okay, it's probably down here. And there we go, blue topaz. Okay, so let's first... Oculus. There we go. So some stone bricks and all that jam. I forgot stone bricks, didn't I? Blast all you in infernal heathens. Okay, let's jump up here for right now, like so. And down. And back up. Excellent. Okay, so... Oh, beautiful. I have a... Oh, look at that. I think I have the three right there. So... Really? Really? Click on you. Uh, let's make the Oculus. So, glass, bricks, coal. Okay, coal. Blue topaz. Bricks. And a piece of glass. And that should give us the Oculus. Excellent. New entry. What does it say? Inscription table. This is one of the other things that we need. Excellent. Uh, so we need spell parchment, feather, torch, slabs, and all that jam. Okay. Uh, I think I have some feathers in here. Or at least I did. Apparently I don't anymore. Excellent stuff. No feathers. Okay, so... We're going to get this inscription table. Uh, but how do we make a spell parchment? Spell parchment. Uh, sugar cane, paper, and a stick. Oh, what do you know? I pretty much have that. Okay, that should be pretty easy. We have our oculus. That's good. We can set that down. We'll get the... Feather. Do I have feathers? Come on. You know what? I probably don't have any feathers. Because my chickens got deleted out of the world. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go kill chickens. Um, you know what? I think we're going to leave it at this point uh, for this video. A little bit shorter. I think we're just a little over 15 minutes or so. Uh, but I did have chickens there at one point. Uh, no feathers. Okay, so I'm going to fly down, find some chickens, get some feathers, and we're going to jump into Ars Magica at the start of next episode. Uh, we're going to start by, you know, creating our first spell and expanding from there. Uh, so thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, uh, I love you guys so much, so, so much, have a good one, bye bye for now.